For this app, we're going to make something called Mole Mash, which is a traditional App Inventor activity that's been around since the beginning of App Inventor, and it's kind of like Whack-A-Mole. We're going to learn how to use um, random numbers to generate coordinates. We're going to use a canvas and an image sprite, so we can have uh, sort of game elements on the screen that move around. We're going to use labels to display information. We're going to keep score using variables. So this is going to be a, a pretty busy app. Let's start by putting in a canvas, which is under media. Oh, it's drawing an animation. So there's our canvas. A canvas is something that you can paint on or draw on. And so we need to set the size of our canvas. And I'm going to set the height of my canvas to be 300 pixels. And that's also going to be the width. So the width will be 300 pixels. So there's our canvas that the mole will appear on. And then below that, I want to have the ability to show um, how many points we've earned. So I'm going to use a label, which is under user interface, label. And I'm going to say something like points. And we have another label to show the actual number. Uh-oh. Delete. Another label to show the actual number of points. I'm going to rename label 2 and I'm going to call it points. And then I'm going to say, you know, to start we're going to have zero points. So let's change the text of points to zero. I'm going to change the text of label 1 to say points colon space space. So now it's points, zero. But I'd really like to have the, the zero out to the side of points. And to achieve that, we use a layout and we use a horizontal arrangement. So this is going to be a box that anything we put in that box will be um, horizontally arranged. So I can put the word points in there, just drag and drop it. I can put the number zero in there, drag and drop it. And they will be side by side. So now in that horizontal arrangement, it's going to say points, zero. Now, on my canvas, I want there to be a mole for me to, to whack at. And so, back under drawing an animation, I use an image sprite. Now, a lot of times, people will confuse images, which are under user interface. They'll go, oh, there's an image. If you drag an image onto a canvas, it won't stick. It'll go right below it. And that's not what you want. We want our image to appear on the canvas. And so it's not an image it's an image sprite, which is under the drawing and animation group. Now our image lives uh, right here. And I want to put the picture of a mole on that. So I highlight my image sprite. And then where it says picture, none, I'm going to upload a file. Now I've downloaded a file on my desktop. It's right there. It's called mole. You can search mole mesh and find that pretty easily on the internet. So now I have a mole on my canvas. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the blocks to make this mole move around randomly, and then whenever we tap it, we're going to get a point. What does this look like right now in our emulator? Right now we have a canvas with a mole on it, points to zero. Well, let's see. Let's first wire it up so if I touch it, I get some points. Under the blocks editor, image sprite 1, whenever it is touched, we want to add one to the score. So points here contains our score. And it's actually the, the text of our points. So when image sprite 1 is touched, we're going to change the text to be basically one more than whatever it used to be. So points, text, now, notice how of these two blocks, they're both the same points.txt and points.txt. One of these is a setter, where I plug something into it. The other one we call a getter, where I'm, I'm getting points text. This one, I'm setting points text. So I want to set points text to whatever points text used to be, plus one more. We get plus from the math group. And right here it is plus. We can plug that in there. 
And we can go back to the math group and get us a number out and change that number to 1. So now points plus 1 plugs back into points text. Our red mark went away. On our emulator now, if I push that mole, I get one more point than I used to have. Pretty simple game to win unless the mole starts moving. So the way we're going to achieve that is we're going to make a procedure. So if we go look under procedures, we're going to say to procedure, to do whatever. So to move mole, what do we need to do to move the mole? Well, we need to pick it a random x coordinate, we need to pick it a random y coordinate, and then we need to move it there. So let's look at the image sprite and wonder if we can change its x coordinate. Oh, there's a move to. Okay, right there, move to. Move to x, move to y. So under math here, we can get a random integer from 1 to 100. We can actually get a random integer from like 0, which is the far left, to 300, which is the far right, except our mole might actually wind up off the screen. So for now, let's just say 275. We'll come back and address that later. And I want another one of these random integers, not the same random integer, another random integer. And I'm going to right click on that thing and duplicate. And now we have two. So we've now made a procedure to move the mole, which is basically like building your own block. See, now we have a, a move mole block. And we can right click and say do it. And when we do it, the mole moves. And every time we do it, the mole moves. But what I want to do is I want it to kind of I want the app to call this move mole by itself every uh, I guess every every second to start out with. So we can do that. Go back to the designer view. We can do that using a a clock, a timer, and it's a sensor. We're sensing time. So under the sensors group, we're going to drag over a clock. And the clock is a non-visible component. We can't see it counting time, but we can use that clock in the blocks over here. And now I get my clock one. And whenever clock one has a timer fire, we're going to move the mole. And let's see what happens to our app now. Oh, it crashed. Let's reconnect it. Connect, reset, connect to emulator. And there it is. Our mole is moving once every second because our clock is programmed to fire a timer once every 1,000 milliseconds. We can change that behavior by moving over here to the designer. And we can see the properties of our clock, timer interval 1,000. If I make that 750, that means that every 750 milliseconds or every three quarters of a second, that mole will be moved. And if I go watch my emulator, you'll see that the mole is moving faster now. So now can I get a point? Got one, got ah, two, three. If I'm lucky enough to get my mouse on top of the mole, I can click a bunch of times. So I think what I want to do is make it so as soon as I tap the mole, I can't double, triple click on it a bunch, it'll actually move. So here's how I do that, under blocks, Every time I touch the mole, I also want to do that procedure that moves the mole so that the mole will give me a point and then it'll move again. So now, every time I click it, the mole goes to a random place. Makes it a little bit harder to get more points. So 
So there's Womash. What can we do to make this better? We can add a reset button, which will set your score back to zero. We can make it so that the more points you get, the faster the mole moves, the smaller the mole gets. We can add a counter for the number of hits and misses, so we can have an average or a, a, a ratio, a, a percentage of, of how good you are, basically. There are a lot of options that you can do to add on to this. And I want you to explore some. You can change the colors of the background. You can change the font of the labels. You can change the size of these things. Go explore with Momash and see what you can do.